The Heat all but had Game 2 wrapped up, but watch out. The Mavs come barreling back. This is your Game 3 preview. We're glad you're with us. Lauren Shahadi, Matt Moore. With your eye on the NBA, Matt, we were looking to head to Dallas 2-0. The Heat on top, not so much. That fourth quarter changed everything. How did the Heat now bounce back from a loss like that? I think they got to regroup mentally. I mean, down the stretch, they started doing all the things we saw in the regular season that led to their struggles. They took bad shots. They came apart defensively. They even did something as crazy as not doubling Dirk Nowitzki in the clutch. How that happens, that's going to be the question that they're going to have to ask themselves before game three. Miami has to regroup mentally and get back to what they do best, which is defend and make smart decisions. You mentioned Dirk Nowitzki. The question heading into game two was that hand seemed to be okay. Do you think it will be okay throughout the series, and will his role be more important heading into game three? Yeah, Dirk talked yesterday about a lot about how it's just a brace on his hand in terms of, of holding the ball. It's not going to be affecting him much. He also said that the pain wasn't that bad, and obviously, as he went to his left on the game winner, it clearly wasn't affecting him. The other thing is that Dirk's going to fight through whatever is in his way. He is so determined at this point. I think we, Dirk honestly has the ability to do even more than he's already done. He's got such great ability, and he's just locked in right now. He had a bad shooting night until the fourth quarter last night. I expect we're going to see some even bigger games from Dirk down the stretch. It's so fun to watch him play. Also fun to watch Sean Marion. First two games averaging 18 points, nine rebounds. How impressed with him have you been, and what's the key for him moving forward? It's been incredible to watch Marion, who for so many years was part of a defensively questionable unit in Phoenix, now become really the key defender for the Mavericks. Rick Carlisle talked a lot about that after game two last night. You know, Marion's task with guarding LeBron James, not only is he doing a great job on that in both the pick and roll and in ISO situations, holding James to 0 of 2 man up last night, but also came out strong and played defense, and he's contributing on offense. I mean, he's really putting in everything. He's able to get the floater going. He's able to get offensive rebounds. Marion is really the foundation for this Mavericks team right now, even more than Dirk Nowitzki. We've talked about Dallas. Let's talk about the Heat outside of the big three, Matt. It's really been the bench being outscored. You saw that in game two. So which role players need to step up? It's going to depend on how Dallas attacks them. If Dallas goes more to the zone, then the outside players are going to have to knock down those shots to give the star players opportunities. But if the Mavericks continue to play man, which they played a lot of last night, you know, the Heat players simply don't have the ability to do it with Mike Miller being so banged up. I think the one guy you can point to and say, Udonis Haslam has to step up. Haslam is such a big part of what the Heat do. He's got to play better both on defense and on offense. He's got to make, knock down a couple shots. The all-important game three, who takes it, Matt? I like Miami. I think with the flow, of the way the series has gone, Miami's going to recognize that they had a great chance to win that game and let things get away mentally. I think they regroup and take game three in Dallas. In game three, Sunday at 8 p.m. Thanks for watching the preview. We'll see you back here on CBSSports.com.